Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to download and install resource packs or texture packs in Minecraft 1.15. We're going to be going over every single step of it today from downloading your resource pack or texture pack and to installing it in game, getting it up and running, how to switch them, how to do everything. We're going to be going over it all in this video. I'm even going to be talking about what if a resource pack isn't updated to Minecraft 1.15 but you still want to use it. I'm going to be covering it all in this video. First and foremost though, we do have a message from our sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to get an incredible 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server for you and your friends. We actually love Apex so much that we host our own server, play.breakdowncraft.com on them. So again, if you're looking for a great Minecraft server for you and your friends to just love, enjoy, host mods on, host plugins on, play with other people, play with your friends, play with just the public, any, anything you want to do, you can do it with an Apex Minecraft Hosting server. So check them out at the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and get some resource packs installed or specifically downloaded to install them. Now, the first thing that you want to do is come to this link. This is the second link down below, and it's going to take you here. This is actually all of our resource packs for Minecraft 1.15 as soon as I refresh the page. I just updated this article, so sorry about that. But nevertheless, these are all great resource packs for 1.15. Now, some of these aren't updated to 1.15. An example of that is Doku Craft, and that's perfectly fine. One, I know Doku Craft is going to update good date and two you can actually still run it and that's what i'm saying we can actually run 1.14 resource packs in 1.15 as long as we're okay with not having like b textures and some of the new textures that were introduced but nevertheless we're going to download a few resource packs here first we're going to download doku craft so we're going to go ahead and just click on this green download button it's going to open us in a new tab here but i'm not going to download that just yet i want to scroll down here and find the uh, faithful resource pack faithful is a long time favorite of mine and they actually are updated to 1.15 so faithful as you can see, we do have for 1.15 pre-release, but it'll still work. It's got B textures and everything like that. And then you can also grab another one if you want. But nevertheless, we're just going to do these two because I know one of these is older and updated to 1.14 and one of these is newer and going to work on 1.15. So let's go ahead and start by downloading the Faithful Resource Pack. Now, some of these are going to be downloaded a bit differently. Some of them will take you off to Curse Forge, for example. Like Jollycraft here takes you off to Cursed Forge, or not Cursed Forge, Planet Minecraft in the case of Jollycraft. And for them, you're just going to click Download Texture Pack and then the download will begin after a message there. And for some of them, they are going to take you off to CurseForge, like default 3D here, takes you off to CurseForge, and then you can click the download button on CurseForge up here in the top right, where it'll take you off and download after a few seconds. However, for Faithful, it is on their own website. You want to click on the Faithful 1.15 pre-release 2 or 1.15, whatever the newest one is there. And then from here, you can scroll down and you'll see everything that was changed and added and everything, but we just want to scroll down to the bottom where there's that little bitty download button at the bottom of the page that little bitty download button click on that and the download will begin in the bottom left for us now you shouldn't need to save this file but if you do it is perfectly fine to keep the file on the on google chrome or save the file on your center of your screen on mozilla firefox you will probably need to save it on mozilla won't probably need to on google chrome now we aren't done downloading just yet doku craft is still here and i like doku craft light the best so let's go ahead and click on that and then from here we can download pack for minecraft 1.14 right in the center of our screen now again I know this is for 1.15. This is a 1.15 tutorial, but I want to show you that you can use 1.14 resource packs in 1.15. So we've downloaded that in the bottom left. You may need to keep it, but you'll definitely need to save it on Mozilla Firefox. Now if we go ahead and minimize our browser. Here on our desktop, we have the 1.15. This is Faithful. I'll go ahead and rename it here. That way we know this is Faithful 1.15. And then we do have Doku Craft here as well. Now, at this point, we want to go ahead and open up Minecraft here. And then in the Minecraft launcher, you'll be able to see that I am playing 1.15. I'm going to launch this right on up. Now, luckily, you don't have to like do anything crazy to access your resource files anymore or anything like that. It was very, very easy to do that. You know, something you had to do in the past, but now you don't have to do that. It's very, very easy to access your resource packs folder and all of that stuff. Quick, simple, very, very easy to do. Now, I've actually been having this issue as well. I find this interesting. Um, I'll show you this right now, where 1.15 crashes on me when I first open it up. I don't know why that is, but every time I, it's happened, I close it and then can just play again and we're fine there. But for some reason, that's something that's happened to me a few times. And I'm like, I don't have anything special installed or anything like that. I don't even have any resource packs installed because I've cleared them all for this video. So it really does not make any sense to me why that happens. But as you'll see, it launches right on up now after that first crash. So weird. Hopefully that's something Mo Mojang will fix, but at least it does launch after that. Now, once you're on the Minecraft main menu, 
it's pretty easy to go ahead and get these installed. So all you want to do is click on options here, and then you'll have the resource packs selection, basically button here. Click on that resource packs button, and then in here you'll have the open resource pack folder. It used to be a lot harder to get to this open resource pack folder button, but now it's very, very easy. Again, just options, resource packs, and then click on that open resource packs folder button. When you do that, it will open up this, and it's your resource packs folder. Now to install DokuCraft Faithful, any resource pack you have, just click drag and drop it into your resource packs folder. Now, at this point, they don't show up and that's perfectly fine. Just click done and then click on resource packs again. And as you can see, we do have faithful here and we do have, as you can see, 1.14 DokuCraft. Now you might be freaking out. It says incompatible, but we're going to show you what to do if that is the case here. But I do want to mention that if it doesn't show up here, if you've added it in here and it doesn't show up, make sure that when you double click on these raw files, right, that you see assets, contributions, all of this stuff, right? You see assets and pack.mc meta, right? You might not have everything else, but you'll have at least assets and pack.mc meta. If you have that, you're good to drag and drop it. If you don't, make sure you click through until you do have that. Then drag and drop that file into your resource packs folder there. But nevertheless, let's go ahead and start off with 1.15 Faithful because if you're using a 1.15 resource pack, it's very, very easy. Just click the play button, move it over here into your selected resource packs folder like that, and then click done. It's then going to reload Minecraft 1.15 and boom, we have Faithful installed. Faithful doesn't change much, but as you can see, the buttons are a bit softer, things like that. We can actually go ahead and jump into a new single player world. As you can see, 1.15 no mods. <laughs> I wanted to create a 1.15 no mods world here because yeah, anyway, we're going to go ahead and jump into creative here and then go ahead and create this new world. And you'll be able to see that the textures are in fact changed. And then once we're done with that, I'm going to show you what to do if your resource pack is not compatible. Now, one thing I will say is that this works for 1.14 resource packs, but it does not work for like a 1.8 resource pack, right? There is a point where you're using such an old resource pack that it is not going to work. 1.13 resource packs will work in some cases, but like 1.14 is going to be your best bet. And obviously if a 1.15 option is available, use that. So as you can see, leaf textures are different. The glass, grass and dirt textures and water textures are a bit softer than normal Minecraft. Faithful is one of my go-to resource packs and uh, I absolutely love it. It just looks so much like normal Minecraft without completely ruining everything with the game there. But now let's go ahead and save and quit to title. You can change your resource pack in game, but I just like to do it from the main menu because of stress on basically switching out all the resources. But once you're in here, let's go ahead and go to options, or resource packs. And now we, what, what about this incompatible one? Well, it might say incompatible, but what's really interesting about this is if we click this arrow, this play arrow, it will go ahead and ask us, are you sure? you want to load this resource pack. This resource pack is made for older versions of Minecraft and it may no longer work. Yes, we want to move it over. So as you can see, we have moved over this resource pack, even though it's incompatible, even though it's red, it just warned us, but it's allowing us to do it. Now we go ahead and click done. Minecraft will reload without any problems whatsoever. And there is DokuCraft installed. See that red, that scariness, all that, not a problem. And again, don't do this with like 1.8 resource packs. Probably not going to work with a resource pack from 1.8, but for 1.14 to 1.15, you're perfectly fine. We go ahead and click done there. As you can see, we do have DokuCraft. The saga continues. We're going to jump back into our 1.15 no mods world here. And as you can see, we have DokuCraft. Everything looks completely different. DokuCraft to me is a really, really cool resource pack. Now, you might be wondering, what about 1.15 stuff though? What about some bees? I always love the bees because those are fun. Well, let's see, we search bees here. Look at that, there they are. As you can see, we have the bee spawn egg, right? And if we spawn them in, you'll notice they're just the normal texture, right? They're not changed by DokuCraft or anything because DokuCraft doesn't have this texture. What it's doing is just using the default Minecraft texture. Now, let's get a little more complicated here. What if we do wanna change the texture of bees, but we wanna keep DokuCraft as our main one? Well, as we know, if we go into options here and then resource packs, Faithful is updated to 1.15 and does do stuff with that bee texture. So if we go ahead and click that play button over and then and click that down arrow to move it below DokuCraft. As you can see, DokuCraft is our first one. That means it's going to use everything from DokuCraft first. Then it's going to move on to Faithful, and it's going to use everything from Faithful. Then it's going to move on to Default. So if DokuCraft doesn't have the texture, Faithful will, and it's going to grab that. And if that doesn't, Default's going to have it. So if we go ahead and click Done, it's again going to reload Minecraft and everything. And now, if we go ahead, spawn in a bee, 
does <laughs> that would be funny if one if uh, okay yeah there we go I think the B eyes are a bit different there from the faithful resource pack and um, yeah that's basically that we can also see that for example I believe hives and what else is what else is B related I don't even know what is honestly B related we have B nest as well. So we can place those down and those are definitely different from default Minecraft. So there you have it. That is how you can install resource packs in Minecraft 1.15. It's a pretty simple process, but I wanted to show you what to do if a resource pack wasn't updated. You know, your favorite resource pack isn't updated. It's showing red in game. It's not going to work. Oh no, but it is most likely going to work. You'll just be missing these 1.15 textures and, and things like that, that, um, you know, you might have otherwise, you know, like that those be default right and then once your resource pack does update you can update it no problem and get the updated b and beehive and all the other resources and textures that were added for 1.15 so there you all have it if you have any questions let us know in the comment section down below please give this video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you haven't already come join us on the best minecraft server in the multiverse play.breakdowncraft.com i can't wait to see you online we have grief protected survival a medieval survival server with over 30 quests and a grief protected aquatic survival server with a slash shop based economy. It is absolutely incredible. We've also got custom skyblock with custom islands, OP enchants, and just a ton and ton and ton of awesome fun. So come play with us. Play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP. Can't wait to see you online. My name is Nick, and I am out. Peace.